A vegetation fire breaks out and spreads quickly in San Jose and crews say they'll be working throughout the night to get it out. Our crews have just been taxed. Our, all of our units are pretty much out. We're out of uh, personnel. Our guys are fatigued and we, we know that we're going to be out here all night. Firefighters from the South Bay say they're stretched thin at home as they help battle wildfires all across the state. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alex Savage in tonight for Frank Somerville and I'm Julie Hayner. Today's fire broke out just after four this afternoon in the Coyote Creek bed near Mill River Lane along the San Jose Mill Pitas line. Live coverage now from KTVU's Asna Smith and Asna. Thankfully, this fire did not burn any structures. Yes, no homes burned and no injuries reported. Tonight, crews from Milpitas, San Jose, and Cal Fire are mopping up and monitoring hot spots to make sure this fire does not advance. So far, total acreage, 25 acres. Luckily, the wind was on their side. Yeah, really scary. It looked like it was spreading really fast. Quite the sight in San Jose. From the air, you could see the heavy smoke traveled for miles. Where it came from, a fire in a vast dry riverbed of Coyote Creek along the Malpitas San Jose line. It's definitely pretty uh, crazy. Uh, didn't haven't seen anything like this. I've been in this neighborhood for like 14, 15 years now. On the ground, this is what crews battling the intense flames were dealing with. A lot of dry, heavy underbrush and trees ready to burn after years of drought. The air has just been overgrown for a few years uh, due to the heat stress, lack of water, drought conditions. It just produced a lot of smoke and then also uh, the debris that uh, the materials that are brought in from the homeless encampments add to the fire load within this area. Never a good time for a fire. Crews stretched thin, resources limited. Multiple units have been deployed to the Dixie and Tamarack fires in other parts of the state. I just got back from the river fire as of Friday and was called into work as of Monday, so we're doing the best we can with what we have. Fremont fire backfilling as crews in Milpitas worked on this fire. Witnesses say it traveled fast. Crews dealt with prevailing north winds, gusts up to 10 miles per hour. It looks like it started down there and it's continued to go all the way towards Montague Expressway. The smoke overpowering. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. That's why I'm wearing the mask. Um, and, you know, same thing with the community. I started telling people to stay inside if they could. This woman manages the apartment complex behind the creek, and so the fire rattled nerves. I'm scared for the community. It seems like it's under control now, but. Um, they asked me to stick around in case I needed to help evacuate the community. No evacuation orders. The fire encroached on the parking lots of nearby office buildings. Firefighters protected neighboring homes. Crews say the fire could have been worse if the wind had changed direction. Yeah, you can feel the wind shifting right now. So this is pretty much what, what we were facing when we got here on scene. And the cause of this fire is unknown. The creek bed is home to several homeless encampments. City staff tonight are helping those individuals displaced. Julie? Yeah, there was so much smoke earlier today, and you were wearing a mask uh, during our 6 o'clock live mm -hmm. report. Has the smoke dissipated quite a bit tonight? Is it much clearer where you are? Yes, I mean, I'm in the middle of where the fire was and uh, I do smell the smoke still uh, the fire. Luckily, the smoke is a lot better, but uh, you could still smell it in the air. Yeah, and Julie. seen over a wide area of the Bay Area today. Asna, thank you.